Hey there guys, Pern here, and this is episode 3 of Pern's Quick Tips. So this involves fairy rings and slayer rings. Uh, what slayer rings are, they cost 300 points, uh, 300 slayer points to unlock the ability to make them. And how you make them is one gold bar and an enchanted ring. Once the uses are up, once all 8 uses are up, you get the ring back. So all it, in turn, all it really costs is the gold bar. You need 75 crafting to make them, which can be boosted. And uh, for fairy rings, you're going to need to have started and have done a couple steps, I think like four or five, of uh, Fairy Tale Part 2 to be to access fairy rings. And you do not need the skill requirements for that quest to get to fairy rings. So, on to it. With this layer ring, you can teleport to three different places, uh, one of which is Stronghold Se or, yeah, Stronghold Slayer Cave, which is the closest... Well, it's a pretty damn close to a bank. It has to be one of the closest teleports to a bank. This one, Mortiana Slayer Tower, has very, very quick access to Canifis, as you can see right there. Short walk, that's instead of using a house telly, then going through a portal there. And the last place you can go to is Relica Slayer Cave. Oh, oh, well there you go, so you get the gem back. But also, um, if you've completed the quest for Kate or Dark Beast, it has a teleport right to Dark Beast, which negates the need of morning clothing. And look at that, boom. Right next to a Slayer Ring now, or a Fairy Ring. Uh, so yeah, Slayer Rings, very, very useful. I'd recommend getting one after you get Slayer Helmet, so, you know, save up your points.